We have come out for a walk because we want to see the hot pools or the, um, what would you call it? Hot springs. Hot springs. Hot springs. The hot springs of Orense. Uh, we're not seeing the city today. We're leaving the city for another trip, but uh, we've parked where we stayed overnight, walk along this path, get to a bridge, cross the bridge and you're there. So let's show you. So off to see the hot springs, just like Wilf has got on his toes. <laughs> yeah, different type of springs. Yeah. One of our subscribers told us to come here and said that they parked, I think where we parked, um, and that one of these hot springs is paid for, but the others are free. So I'm going to assume what's down there, I can see some children. That might be one of the free ones, but should we go and have a look? Oh yeah, you can see it. There's a little bit of a flow in the river. Yeah. But over there where it's kind of into the bank, it's quite steady. Yeah. So I would imagine, yeah, there's, there's hot hot pools over there. Yeah, hot springs. So we walked down and over the bridge and we're coming up to the hot pools. So we'll see. Some of them have been drained at the moment by the look of it. I've seen some further nearer the river that might be okay. Oh, isn't this lovely? You feel rain, can you? Oh, wow. Yeah, so here's the water. How hot is that? Yeah, I have to admit, it is a very hot, steamy, sweaty day. And the last thing I would want is to get in here if it is as hot as it seems. Oh, Christ. It's like a hot bath. The as well. it's yes, it's eggy. Yeah, it's oh, that's boiling. Is it? That's like boiling water. Why would you get in that today? Oh, and it smells. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at it. Look how gorgeous this is. Yeah, definitely spots of rain. Well, you can see it falling on the water. Honestly, get your fingers in there and tell me what you think. Obviously, this is all natural around here, yeah. so <clears throat> you got to watch your feet and your ankles, I think. Oof, steam coming off yeah. that. Oh, yeah. It's boiling, isn't it? Yeah. I couldn't get in that. I couldn't even put a, my foot in that. Oh, did you get the steam coming off the water? Yeah. You probably want to go somewhere where there's a mix of that and this, wouldn't you? Yeah. So further in near the river. Yeah. But it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible because it's all natural. But wow. Super hot. No wonder that they've shut some of the pools down because it's all maniac would get in this. It is absolutely boiling today. It's about thirty degrees already, and it's not even midday. And uh, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> one of the paid uh, spa facilities and you can actually tell because you can smell. Well, it's been treated and it's a bit cleaner than off the natural one. You pay for this and I would imagine it's going to be treated in a temperature where you can enjoy it because believe me that one back there was like sticking your foot in a cup of tea. Yeah. Really warm but again it's all free it's it's it's, well, it's nature. Well, it, it, it is nature. It's finest, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And then over there, you can, it's, it's quite busy. You can yeah. see it. there's Pools, a terrace a, there with a restaurant. A cafe, yeah. But they've um, done it all really nicely. It's all planted up beautifully. Um, they've really made the most of all of this. I've got a feeling that perhaps August is not the ideal time to come. I think more year, autumn, winter, spring might be a better time <laughs> because uh, it's about 30 degrees now and getting into a hot bath does not appeal. <laughs> so this is where we were down here. You can see there's a few people there and they're getting in and out of the river. You would have to. Apparently all up and down along here, there are hot springs. Beep, beep. This is what the 
cities are like in this part of Spain, green. They're very, very beautiful. I mean, obviously that does mean one thing, that at some point there's a lot of rain, but we haven't seen any since we've been here. Well, they did spot by the hot poles as well. Yeah, we had about four spots. Well, we got excited and then it just didn't happen. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's Sunday the 1st of September. We're in September. We've managed to survive August in Spain. And it's something I think we always said we wouldn't ever do, but actually it wasn't too bad. Um, so we, we are in the mountains at the moment, uh, in a little town. It's very, very pretty. And something very exciting happened yesterday, early evening, it rained. Uh, so we had about 40 minutes of quite heavy rain in a thunderstorm. Um, again, it's hot and sunny again today, but because uh, we're in the mountains, it's a little bit better. It's more bearable at about 25, 26 degrees. So it's lunchtime and I am just about to make up some tapas. Now we had a message from someone the other day saying that tapas is a plate of something, that anything with a stick through the middle is apparently a pig sauce so um that's what i'm gonna make but i don't have a stick okay so i've cut up some bread we bought this a couple of days ago it's quite stale um but i think that's how the spanish make the tapas so i'm going to cook this or warm it up in the air fryer and then i'm going to rub it with a garlic clove uh, or some olive oil on it, and then I'm going to add the toppings. Okay, I think that's enough. Take these out. Take one clove of garlic, they do huge big ones here in Spain, and then just rub it over the toast. And there we go, all done. So put some guacamole on the top, some tomatoes, uh, a, a swirl of uh, balsamic vinegar, some serrano or some Spanish ham, and done. Sort of a tapas, or a cheap tapas anyway. Looks like Redders has got everything ready for the... Uh, okay. On. We're ready to go, are we? Right? We are. Well, let's sit down, eat our tapas and enjoy the Grand Prix. We've been ill. So we haven't actually filmed anything for about four days now. Uh, Paul started to get ill on the Sunday and I quickly followed, shivering, shaking, um, hot cold and generally we've just slept for uh, about four days. So uh, this morning we got up and we emerged out of the van blinking like those little naked mole rats. Obviously we were dressed and we're ready to start our travels again. But yeah, that was an experience being poorly in the van together at the same time. Interesting four days. Fortunately, we've got lots of time left on this trip so we didn't feel like we were missing out too much. But uh, we are actually in Portugal. Uh, we parked up here on the Sunday late early evening because we moved on uh, because we, we were feeling starting to feel a bit too hot so uh, we were like right well the weather the temperature looks a bit cooler down there so let's go down there uh, off we went it was only about 40 miles and we've basically parked up here and not moved uh, it's a lovely little town, but unfortunately, we're not going to show it to you. Time to take the dogs for a walk though, so come with me. Right, who's getting their leads on? Where are your leads? Oh. Wilfie, you're coming to you, mate. Right, let's get Pippi on first, age before beauty. And she has beauty too. Don't you, darling? Yes, you do. Right, that's Pippi on. Dolly, you're next. <coughs> I know he's not very patient, is he? <coughs> Come on 
them. <laughs> okay, so here's where we stayed. Now, it's a marketplace in the middle of uh, this little town in the hills in Portugal. No, you're not going up there. That's where the cows go. Come on. Come on, let's get you out onto the main walkway as we go around the corner. So initially we parked down this part of the car park, the bottom, but unfortunately it's next door to a dog that barks all day and all night. So we soon shifted right up to the top and we couldn't hear him anymore. This is also the fire station. Up the steps here takes you into town. There is a beautiful castle up there. Nice castle just over there that you can walk up to. Just by the side here is the church. Uh, that's to the church's bells go off day and night. And look at the view. Isn't that beautiful? There's shops down there. There's restaurants, there's takeaways. So the, there is quite a lot in this little town. So if you are in the area, we would recommend this as a great stop because it's free and it has all the services. Right, Redders is doing, doing services doing while the I services. did the walk. Yep, done the services, drop the grey. And there we have Agua or Tavel, which is Portuguese for drinking water. Yep, we're still going to filter it through our Itter Hill system. <clears throat> Just in case. Just in case. Right, come on then guys, in you get. Yep, so all what three words, this place. Uh, it was very nice, like I said, we have not seen the best of it, we have not felt like seeing the best of it, um, but we're ready to move on now. So the plan today is we're actually going over to Chavez, I think maybe is how you say it, and uh, stay there perhaps a couple of days and look at getting this route started, which is exciting. Just wait for uh, Redders to finish. You have to excuse me, I'm a bit out of breath. Whatever this bug was that we've just had has really made us both quite out of breath. Uh, of course, not doing anything for nearly four days. Well, three, three days. We were our worst on Monday and Tuesday. So Monday and Tuesday, we literally did nothing but sleep. We will make the move and uh, get, this trip, get this trip started again. I see Wilfie's ready to go. Are you ready to go, Wilf? Wilfie? Pippa, are you ready? Are you ready, Pip? You're not, you're not saying anything to me, Pippa. Are you cross with me because I wouldn't let you explore the cow shed? See, she won't even look at me. Pippa, Pippa, won't even look because I wouldn't let her. Madam, what a madam you are, eh? It's your treat. Oh, you'd look at me for then, wouldn't you? We've just had our lunch in Lidl and we noticed in the Lidl car park that you could actually stay overnight. They had some motorhome bays um, lined up. So um, I'm not sure if that's what we're gonna do or we're gonna find a different car park, but where we're going at the moment is a daytime car take park. So that we can park up, take the dogs for a walk and apparently it's very, very close into the town. So it's very pretty so far from what we're seeing. After it's uh, mile, turn right. very, very pretty town. Uh, bricks up of there before now. Oh, we turn right here, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, my lord. I don't think that's going to happen. Take the next right. Uh, we'll see. You could turn left. We'll see. No. Mm -mm. 
We can definitely turn left. Here we are, we're in Chavez, Chavez. I'm gonna ask at the tourist office how you say it, uh, just so we know. So we've arrived. We are in mile zero of the N2. So we've parked up um, and we're gonna go and walk into town and find our passport, aren't we? We are, we're gonna see what we can find in there. It looks a nice place. Um, parking, you can park here by day, but not by night. So you've sort of got to clear out of the way, but. I think we're spoilt for choice once again for park ups. Yeah. And again, the sun's out, the solar's coming down, we topped up with water this morning. So since we've left home, we've paid for four nights, but we haven't struggled anywhere to drop our waste or top up with our water. Okay, then. Yeah, okay, good. Honestly, if I'm having a really bad day, as soon as I start tattooing, uh, your focus just switches to that, doesn't it? Yeah, you'll forget about it and it'll be okay. Yeah, at least during. We're, we're about to find out who's got worse separation anxiety. So unfortunately, whilst we were ill, we had some bad news from home, didn't we? We did. Um, our son Sam, who lives at home with us, has got a dog, Maggie. I think you've seen her in a few yeah. previous vlogs and bless her, she was running on the beach. She runs pretty quick and she lost control and landed up in a pile of rocks, bless her. Mm. Unfortunately, she's got multiple stitches and the worst thing as well, a broken leg. So, of course, if we were there, we would help deal with it. So it's plenty of phone calls back and forward, just trying to give some life advice after a life of dogs ourselves to, you know, help and guide. But she's booked in for a leg operation tomorrow. Yeah. She's got to have it pinned and I think they're gonna put it in a cage. And it's 12 weeks worth of recovery. Yeah, it's 12. So. Sam had two options. It was either amputate the leg or give her a chance and pin it and plate it. So he's opted to have it pinned and plated. Um, yeah, but it's a worry. Um, so unfortunately that happened on Sunday night and today is Wednesday she's booked in for the surgery tomorrow so it's been quite yeah. a while we have been having to deal with her at home um, but they had to wait for the right orthopedic surgeon to come in so uh, yeah we're um, constantly having uh, phone calls backwards and forwards making sure Maggie's all right now at the moment as well yeah so hopefully tomorrow goes well for her mm. um, certainly the right decision if her leg can be saved Yes, yeah. it's got to be saved, you know, they would have amputated. I think the amputation was offered because it was um, less cost yeah. and not such complicated surgery because there's always a risk in doing these things. Um, but as it stands, it's um, quite a complicated surgery with plates and putting bones back together. Mm. But, you know, we'll keep in touch and by the time we get back, she'll be two thirds of her way through her recovery. Yep, and obviously by the time we put this video out uh she'll have had the operation and it should all be done so um fingers crossed but this is the footbridge that leads you into town So we stopped here, haven't we, to get ourselves a drink and wait for the tourist office, which is there, mm -hmm. to reopen. Yep, so we can go and get our passport because we are on, as you said earlier, zero mile of the N2. Yeah.
And we've seen a couple of shops up the way where there's M2 knickknacks. Yeah, knickknacks. T shirts and ornaments and mm. sand filled glass of the root. But uh, yeah, this is the beginning. Yeah. So whilst we're sitting here having our drink, I'm going to nip over there and I'm going to grab us a passport. This is a really interesting building. They're all busy at the um, counter at the moment, but uh, there's a museum here, which is really interesting. There's all sorts of artifacts, so well worth coming and looking around inside the tourist office. We've been, or I've been, we've got the passport. So uh, that was interesting. You had to um, fill in a registration. Uh, they had a, a form thing to fill in. Uh, to say you were doing it, where you were from, and your details, and then you are handed one of these. With a stamp already? Yep, it's been stamped for its first one, and uh, it shows you where to go, and it has QR codes at the bottom of every page uh, that gives you the details of each town, where to stay, um, and that kind of thing, because obviously they don't just think you're doing it in a motorhome, you could be doing it on a motorbike, or Ooh, a bike, or you could even be walking it. So. Yeah, it's a very sort of multi-purpose route. Yeah, and it is a total of 739 kilometres, just under 500 miles. Dog. Oh, there we go. So for those two colours in the bike glass with ice, it was three euros. Oh, ah, good, isn't it? Yeah. This one here, that building looks really bowed out, doesn't it? I mean, it's for sale, but by the look of it, it's just got a front. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's got a roof or even sides. There's a wall for sale. Yes, that is definitely a wall for sale. A wall with holes. I'd be interested to see how much a wall with holes costs. It's it's a wonderful little city, isn't it, Chavez? Because. Um, it's just a sort of a warren of little side streets and you know tiny streets like this. We're here, zero miles. Yeah. In Chavez. 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 <laughs> we still don't know how to say it. We're going to work out how to say it. Anyway, <laughs> we're here. We're ready to start. And uh, the sun's out. Yeah. Let's get on with it. Yeah. Uh, tonight's park up in Chavez. We've decided to actually come out of the city. There was parking spaces right by the river and it looks like you can park there, but we needed to do laundry. So we've come to this shopping centre just on the outskirts. There are motorhome bays there, look. So they've got it all set up and just up the steps in front of me is washing machines. So, oh, it says it's got 11 minutes left to go. Right. So there's our washing going round and round and round. And then the tumble dryer, which looks big enough actually to take it all. Yeah, it's going to take off here in a minute. So I've gone for the 18 kilo, which is 10 euros for a wash. And 40 minutes drying, I think I'll go for, which is six euros. So it's actually, you know, it's not the best, but it's, it's not the worst either. So, uh, I mean, they're pretty good, these machines, because they take hard and everything. I'm sure you've seen loads of people use them, so you don't need to see me use them. But uh, yeah, this is where we're stopping. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Morning. Good morning. We are in Chavez. Chavez? Chavez? 
still Shabeth. I think we'll go with Shabeth. I think we'll look up how to say it. I think we really and should. Then try yeah. Again. Yeah. We like to try all the different ways before we settle on the wrong one. Um, we've come to the park to give the dogs a run this morning. Then we're going back into town, aren't we? And we're going to show you all the things you can see in the town. Excuse me, my glasses are steaming up. Yeah, so we've parked about, I don't know, three, four minutes walk from this park? Yeah, where we parked yesterday. Yeah, it's free. We're walking to the, sorry, just checking for the dogs because these are playing. Walk into the first bridge. There is a series of bridges and there's so much uh, room, room for the dogs to run here as Wilf disappears into the distance, but he does come back. And the other two yeah, more seasoned dogs just stand there looking at us. Yeah, here he comes. Whee! <laughs> Where you been? There we go. Just, Naughty. He's nipping, he's nipping Dolly's bum. Yeah, he likes Dolly to run with him, but she doesn't want to. Oi! Oi! Leave her alone! <laughs> yeah, we're going back to a restaurant that we sat in yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's chaos in front of us. Right! You! Oi! You! Shh! No. Right, come on, let's keep walking. Started off all the dogs in the neighbourhood now, Will. Yeah. Carry on. <laughs> We're going back to a restaurant that we sat at yesterday outside the tourism office. So we just had a cola, it was a bit warm, thirsty. We, uh, we, saw, we saw what other people were having. Mm. And they had a um, mixed salad. Oh, it looked fabulous. And it looked fabulous. There was fruit, um, mixed veg, all sorts of different things on the plate. Now. Yeah, Probably. Birds. Sorry, Wolf's busy chasing birds. He's, he's over there somewhere. Here it comes. Pip, get him, Pip. Sort him out. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go back there and enjoy that today. Yes. And also oh. try and find out what a local delicacy tastes like. Yes, this is the pastelaria or pastelaire de char charpez. Oh, see? Something like that. Yeah, I'm going to ask in the shop when we go. Um, there is apparently a speciality pastelaria in town called Pastelaria de Maria. So we are going to try one because apparently they are the specialities of the town. Right, so we're off to find the specialities of the town. Don't look at him go. And also have a look at a few of the, the old buildings. It's a beautiful place to come. Yes. Well recommended and of course the start of the end too. Which we are going to start today. We are, sorry, just keeping a check on these. Look at him. Look at him. Uh, he's over there somewhere. The Here he comes. Wilf. Pip. Pip. Dolly, come here. Picking up Wally. Come, come on. on, Dolly. Where we parked, the first bridge you'll come to is an old Roman bridge which has been kept in a great condition and is one of the main entries to the city. It's a pedestrian bridge. We've also come across a second bridge which is a lit kind of uh, suspended bridge and then there's a third bridge which you might dare try. I say bridge, it's more like stepping stones and they pass across the water. We've seen a couple of people try but they didn't get all the way they turned around because there's a few bigger gaps between the, the stepping stones but it's just over that way you can have a go at that or you can keep on walking and there's another bridge i think the whole river here is just got bridges over into the city and really is a recommended place to visit also plenty of public toilets in the middle of town the prices here as i mentioned yesterday are really good so for example a nutella waffle three euros 90 you could go really mad and get the ice cream I've been craving for a long time, 7.40. If you want to have a cup of coffee, it's 90 cents. I think we should let Redders have his ice cream. I don't think I can complain at that price, can I? Not they really. look well, really look at, good. Look at those. Oh, gelatos. There's I love Mickey. a good gelato. A Mickey Mouse. That's a fruit cocktail one. There's one there, look, with a pineapple the right way around. Look. Churros. Mm. See that? I used to have one of them. With the, and you spin it round and all the chickens move. Look at these cute little houses built into the city walls. They are, aren't they? And just up there, 
is actually the edges of the castle. Unfortunately, the one we wanted shut. is shut. So we'll have to uh, find one in another place. But actually, look over there, Redis. Look at the gardens. We got this plate for five euros. And with the cola, it should taste nice. Yep, looks absolutely lovely. So just behind me and round the corner from where we've just had lunch is the castle and the castle gardens. It's very beautiful. We'll have to read up on it and see if there's anything we can tell you about it. But it looks from the castle gardens like you can get a really beautiful view across the valley. We're still in the grounds of Chavez Castle. We're in the garden part and there was a castle here which was built in the 17th century. And at the moment, all there is standing here now is the castle keep. That's been recently fortified and inside the keep is a museum. And you can have a look around the military museum and it costs you just one euro. We haven't been inside, they don't take dogs, but I would imagine it's uh, quite an in interesting place to have a little look around. Pastelaria Maria is open. So Mrs. Red has just gone in to sample one of the recommended local goodies. So you can see she's talking the local language and Mrs. Red has, hasn't got a Scooby-Doo but the young girl in there is able to interpret for us. So we worked out we're taking it away. Yeah, look at the size of some of those in there. Let's see if I can get the camera in there without the dogs. And you can see what's in there in the shell. Yeah, it's really huge. Guys, come here, good girls. Let's step back a bit. Is it you and you? Yeah, Mum. You can see around the town today though, it is fairly quiet, there's not a lot happening, a lot of decoration but there's also a lot of buildings that aren't inhabited, but the ones that are are very well cared for and maintained beautifully. Anyway, let's have a quick peek back in here, again. Yeah, you nearly there. There we go, we're nearly done I think. Come, come back. Come on, girls. Ciao. Ciao. Alright. <laughs> I got them. <laughs> Let's have a look then. Ooh, look at those. Oh, they look like flaky pastry. Oh, and... right. We need to go sit down and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> we have come to the historic castle behind us to eat our historic pastel de Chavez. That's what the lady said, that's what she called it. So that's what we're going to call them and that's how we're going to pronounce Chavez. Chavez. Okay. Right. They look amazing. That is amazing. So these are still warm. They're freshly baked. So I would imagine she probably opened around three o'clock by the look of it. And the shop is busy already. But first bite, it's really... Oh, it's delicious. Fluffy pastry. I'm not sure what's in the middle. It's apparently it's meat. I think it's veal. I'm not sure. Sorry about all the flaky bits. It would be if angels made Greg sausage rolls. This is what they'd make. <laughs> they are delicious. No hidden surprises like the last cookie. What I thought I had. Oh was, yeah. Was full of pork. Yeah. But this is definitely um, a savoury pastry. There's no mixing this up with. No. The last one I had where it had the pork, porky bits in there and I thought I could have it with custard. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. Mm. If you're coming and you are a meat eater, um, Pastel de Chavez and go to Pastelaria Maria, just beside the castle. Amazing. One euro, fit, 75 cents each. Mm. Amazing. So good.
these Roman baths that were created 78 BC actually were only used until about the 9th century. In the 5th century there was a horrific earthquake that collapsed the buildings and actually there were bathers in the bath at the time and when they excavated they found their skeletons in the bath obviously crushed by the uh, the falling vaulted ceilings. As you can see, they're beautifully preserved. It's incredible what they've actually managed to unearth here. And you can see there's multiple baths. Uh, these baths, they weren't for hygiene bathing, they were for therapeutic bathing. So they were to come here to take the waters for health. And there are lots of smaller pools, as you can see, which would have been different rooms for different medicinal purposes. They would have had to add cold water because obviously thermal springs are extremely hot, but depending on how much cold water was added denotes where the particular bath was. They really are very, very nicely preserved here. This museum is free. You can just walk in off the street, there are artefacts all the way round that they found when they were excavating these baths and there are information boards with photographs and graphics and they're actually translated into English as well which makes it a really nice place to visit. Anyway, if you are in Chavez, don't miss this place. And the reason they found this place? They were digging up the area to make an underground car park. And this is what they found. They actually also found a blacksmith shop and some old weaponry from 1348. Here we are! We're at the N2 marker and this is where we're going to start our route from. It is. Um, the locals probably think we're bloody mad because we're actually stood in the middle of a roundabout. Nah, they're used to it. They're used to it. They yeah. see this all the time. But in fact, we had to wait for some bikers to get off the roundabout so we could get on. But yeah, here we are. There's stickers everywhere. So if yours is one of these here, wouldn't know. But we haven't got one to put here. No, we forgot ours today. We forgot ours, yeah. <laughs> there we Not go. Never worry. mind. Anyway. This is kilometre zero yeah. and the start of our journey. So if you are interested in following this journey, remember to like, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any instalments of us travelling the full length of Portugal down the N2. Yep, we're going to do the lot. So we want to take you with us. So yeah, just subscribe, like and join us along for the ride. Yeah. Which starts from today. You've been warned about me You've heard that all I do is obsess about you But if only you could see That we are men